Hi everyone, welcome to Women Work Your Faith. My name is Sylvia Johnson and I just want to take a moment and say Happy Easter or Happy Resurrection Day to everyone who clicks on this video. I hope that you will be able to join in a local church service somewhere in your area, but if not, here is a chance to celebrate and participate with my local church. And it's just brief highlights of our last service and a brief message from the pastor. I'm sure you will enjoy and I know that you'll be blessed. And I thank God for seeing so many of you here. Amen. And I know you're having a wonderful resurrection Amen. Sunday. Amen. Because he lives, he lives, he Amen. lives. Amen. Way Amen. down in my soul. Amen. This song says, you ask me how I know you better watch out. He lives within my that's soul. Amen. So that's the day that my life took on great meaning. Yes. And I know if you belong to Christ, you have a wonderful life. And so God bless you and I enjoy Jesus on today. You know, sometimes we talk about somebody has a call on their life or somebody has a, a work in the Lord. If you get up here and you see that your kid is struggling with their words, there's your call. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if they having a hard time understanding the Bible, there's your call. If they don't know what this city is or what that that part of the story is, there's your call. So um, we try to make time here to help them in this learning, but the learning really takes place at home. Amen. So um, as you listen to them read, you know you can just take a point from their their section and say, you know what, I can go home and work with them a little bit and explain to them. So we give it to them in a nutshell, but help them understand a different, a deeper meaning of what it is that um, they're they're sharing with you all today. Amen. So with that being said. Um, Welcome, children of St. John's. Come on, board. The children have done things like skits, plays, and songs. This time, they were doing a book on the resurrection of Christ, and they read it to the congregation. If you want to hear the story in its totality, it's in last year's video. I posted a video of their rehearsals and how they prepare, and I'll link that in the description box. Doing a book reading is something that we've been trying out for a while to help them learn the scriptures and really get a flow for the story in a new way. And so far, it's been working well for us. After three nights and days, an angel of the Lord rolled the stone away from the tomb. The guards fell down in fear. The angel told Mary Magdalene, do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen. Just ask the ass. But we can't talk about why he rose unless we talk about sin. Amen. First John three and eight says, He that cometh he that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. He was made known. He was brought to life. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Why did Jesus have to die for our sins? Because there's a scripture in Isaiah 59 and 2 that says, But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. See, in uh, your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Uh, many times we want to hear of the good things that Jesus is going to do for us, but there is a penalty to pay when you're not saved. Yeah. What must I do? John 6 and 44. 6, 44 and 45. What must I do? Here Jesus is saying to the people as he's teaching and they murmuring. You know how you be teaching and somebody got something else to say. Somebody's disturbing somebody else. Amen. Somebody don't believe. He said, no man come to me except the Father which has sent me, draw him and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets and, and they shall be all taught of God every man therefore that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. If you're not saved, you need to listen to get saved. Amen. If you're saved, you need to continue to hear. That's what I must do. 
today, dear God. We thank you that Jesus is the propitiation for our sin. He is our advocate, dear God. Dear God, we ask that you look on us and cover us with the blood in the name of Jesus. God, strengthen us, dear God, as never before. Give us to bind the devil through salvation in the name of Jesus, that the blood cover and we don't have to fall into a horrible pit. Dear God, bless us as we leave this place, but never your presence. We ask, dear God, that you bless us whenever we leave. Give us to live saved, dear God. Give us to bind the devil, dear God, the whole week as we come back together the next time, which is the appointed time. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. So I just shared with you the Resurrection Sunday service from St. John's Church of God in Christ in Louisville, Kentucky. Look us up. We're on Facebook, uh, and we'd be happy to have you join us. I hope you all were blessed. Be looking for us next week for the next Sunday School lesson. Thank you, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Happy Resurrection Day.